Time now is 6.50. It's 10 minutes until 7. 52 degrees outside on this Thursday morning. Shark sightings are becoming more common off the shores of Cape Cod. And today, 22 News will be tracking the elusive great white shark. 22 News reporter Eugene Cho joins us live from Chatham on the Cape, where our crew will soon be joining the shark researchers very soon. In about half an hour, 22 News reporter Alicia Rodriguez and I will be meeting up with members of OSEARCH, a nonprofit organization that is spending the whole month of August out here on Cape Cod, hoping to tag between 10 to 20 great whites in 30 days. They will be leaving at 7.30 from Claflin Landing here in Chatham. And there have been several shark sightings so far this summer here in Chatham. If researchers catch a shark today, they will have 15 minutes to learn as much as possible about great whites before they have to release the animal back into the ocean. Some Western Massachusetts residents told 20 News this is the curiosity that draws so many people to Cape Cod. They are all hoping for a glimpse of that 5,000-pound animal. It's a bit scary, but it's kind of interesting at the same time. Like, you want to see one, but then again, you don't want to die. Knowledge and ability to understand nature and the ability to survive. This is expected to be the one of the biggest great white shark, great white shark expeditions in history, and we'll have live updates for you throughout the day today from that research vessel, both on air and online on WWLP.com. Live in Chatham, Eugene Show, 22 News.